athletes, this is your intro for another CrossFit Games variation workout. We got North Park today. North Park is gonna have farmer's carries, dumbbell deadlifts, and then we got some box get overs. So get yourself ready. We got Shane, we got Clara, and we are ready to work out with you. Athletes, your warm up is here. We've got 10 seconds on the clock. So go ahead and make your way to the floor because we're starting out with down dog seal pose transitions. We're going in three, two, one, and go. You're gonna start out slow here and we are making sure that we are exploring all those corners of your range of motion, making sure we're getting ourselves nice and warmed up. We wanna get that low back and posterior chain revved up because we are gonna be hitting that pretty hard in this workout. We're gonna go through three to four more oscillations here. You can do the shoulder wiggle like Shane's got going on. When we go through to our down dog like Claire is doing, get that head between your arms and you can shift back and forth on those calves to give yourself a little bit of an extra stretch. I'm gonna go ahead and have athletes do one more and back down. And then we're gonna stand up. We're gonna go to RDLs plus a jump. So the RDL, you're gonna take your hands, put them on your quads. We are gonna slide down our legs until we get to about mid chin. You're gonna stand and then give me a jump at the top. The height of that jump doesn't matter. If you wanna work on getting a little bit more vertical and a little bit higher, you are welcome to. But we're again, trying to get those hamstrings woken up and prepared for the 10 minute fitness onslaught coming their way. Cause we know you're gonna dominate, but we need you to be prepared. We're gonna go ahead and relax there and we're gonna go into our farmer's carry. So with our farmer's carry, we've got Shane on dumbbells. We've got Clara with objects. So we grab some buckets and she's gonna use those for today. And we're gonna go back and forth across our lines here. With this, we've got 50 feet in the workout. So if you wanna use this time to figure out distances for yourself, you can go ahead and do it. For the, high, the distance that we have here, we've got 25 feet out and 25 feet back. So our 50 foot carry is gonna be quick. They're gonna go down and back. The weight that you're gonna to use today is gonna to be something that's challenging for you. So if you've got heavy dumbbells, you can use that. If you've got some buckets with cement in them, you can use that. We've got these actually filled with lead for Clara and she makes it look super, super easy. They're gonna go ahead and set it down once they get to the back. And then we are going into box step overs. So we're gonna step up to our boxes without the dumbbells on our warm up. Shane's ready to go and I gotta hold him back and we're gonna work on that transition here. So specifically when you're stepping over your box, I want you to think about what your legs are doing when you're stepping over. So are you going to do that cross so that you set yourself up for the next step over like Shane is doing? If you wanna face that direction the entire time and then turn around when you get to the other side of the box, you are welcome to. We're gonna go ahead and do two more reps for each athlete. And then we're gonna step away from the box and we got that surprise piece at the end. I want you guys to start out with slow high knees for me. So we're gonna keep our knees right here, chest is up. And then what we're gonna do is, is that we're gonna slowly increase our pacing and we go a little bit faster and then faster and then quick, 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 speed it up, speed it up, speed it up, speed it up and relax. We're going into butt kickers, keeping our knees down, chest up. You're gonna go slow with it. So just try to get those heels to your butt. You're gonna alternate alternate and now we're speeding up and we're going faster and faster and quick 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 and relax now we're doing 50 burpees for time i'm kidding we're going into the workout so let your heart rate decrease because i just jacked it up with those 50 burpees we've got the workout coming up so turn your cell phone on silent grab water get ready the fitness is coming your way athletes the workout's here we've got 10 seconds on the clock We've got a 10 minute AMRAP. So you guys are gonna be starting out with your burpee dumbbell deadlifts or your burpee plus your vertical jump and go. And so right now we do have a little bit of a rep variation for our athletes. So we've got Shane doing five reps here. We've got Clara going through 10 reps unweighted. So whichever variation you're doing, make sure you're not watching the other athlete that's doing the variation that you're not doing because the reps will not line up. We've got our burpee dumbbell deadlift that Shane's on. And with that, we are going down, touching those dumbbells to the floor, going down in our burpee and standing tall. He's not letting go of those dumbbells because he's going straight into his farmer's carry, which is gonna be his 50 foot down, and 50, or sorry, 25 foot down, 25 foot back. And then he goes into his step overs. Again, when we're doing this, we took some time during the warm up to work on our transition over the box. Please be very careful 
of what you're doing. He's trying to figure out how many reps that he's doing here. Jane has, has five total. He just did three. Now he's done, that's it. Yep, now we've done five reps. We got Clara going back and forth on her farmer's carries. It's one trip, Clara. She just did 100 feet, but she's doing it because again, if you've been keeping track, Clara was beaten, surprisingly by Shane. She had the lead, so now she's giving him a little bit of a comfortable lead so that she can establish that come from behind victory that we know that she's gonna get. We've got Shane back on his dumbbell burpee deadlifts, or dumbbell deadlift burpees, and then he's back on his farmer carries. And we got 10 minutes on this workout, and you know that Shane's not letting go of those dumbbells. We're going into our step overs, that was one chain. That was two, Shane. We got Clara onto her burpees with our vertical jump. Now, when you're doing your burpees to vertical jump, typically we just say to come off the floor. For today, we do want to get some height behind those burpees. So we do want you to give us a hop at the top and get off that floor, put effort into that jump, because when we do regular burpees and we come off the floor, we tend to be a little bit more passive in that position. I need you to get all the way overhead, Clara, and I need you to jump high. There we go, that's what I need to see every single time. After we get done with that, both athletes are going into their carries. We've got our object carry and our farmer's carry with the dumbbells for Shane. And then we are going into our box step overs and our dumbbell box step overs. We talked about a differing rep scheme. If you guys are following along with Shane and you've got your dumbbells, you are looking at a 555 variation and then if you're following along with Clara you've got a 10 50 10 variation so just make sure that you are following the correct rep scheme and you are staying with whichever athletes variation that you are doing we got both athletes onto our step overs when you go into your step overs you do not have to show full extension in the hips or knees so you guys can stay low just be mindful if you are working with dumbbells here that you're keeping yourself in a good position We've got Shane taking a quick break so he can shake his hands out because it's no joke. Like this workout is almost like a farmer carry with movements added to that. We're going into our dumbbell deadlift burpees for Shane and notice that he's got those dumbbells on the sides of his feet. When you guys get into this, if you find that the jumping back starts to get too difficult or you're trying to pace yourself out, you can do the step back variation that he's starting to introduce. So do whatever you can in this workout to keep yourself moving. Don't get caught up in the fact that I'm trying not to break because you guys should take breaks as needed so that you can save your grip. If you're doing Shane's version of this, your grip is going to be the thing that goes out on you first. So take whatever time you can to set those down, shake your hands out so you can get into it. We got Clara with her burpees to a vertical jump. I know I'm gonna see a vertical jump on this one. We're gonna get high with it. There we go. Every single time, I know that it can be difficult when we don't have a target, but that's the best thing about it is you can customize the height. I do wanna see you guys get up off that floor. We got Clara into her 25 feet and now onto her 50 foot and she's done there. And then we are moving back into our 10 box step overs for Clara. Again, Shane is doing five reps with his dumbbells. We're back to our dumbbell deadlift burpees for Shane. And we are almost at the halfway point in this workout. This is one of those workouts that on paper, it doesn't look like anything special. It doesn't look bad, but the grind that you have to maintain for the entirety of this 10 minutes is where the magic happens. It is difficult to keep that same intensity because you're telling yourself, I need to put these dumbbells down. I need to rest. The reps are low enough that it's just low enough that you can keep moving throughout and you're like, oh, it's just five reps. It's just 10 reps. I can do that. It's only 50 feet, but it's only 50 feet. It's only five reps. It's only 10. It adds up. So make sure that you're using your rest time wisely. Use those strategic break times like Shane is doing. Use that strategic pace that Claire is using so that you can stay moving consistently. And if you have to plan your rest times, do them at a point that's gonna prevent you from going to failure or burnout. We are right past the five minute mark here. So there's nothing, like I said, there's nothing fancy to this workout. We just gotta grind, we gotta move. Take the time when you're on your rest times. Nice deep breath in, nice deep breath out. Shake those hands out and get right back into it. We got Clara on her burpee to vertical jump. All the way up, there we go. And we're getting that full extension at the top. And then she's back onto these lead filled buckets. That I mean, our scale only went up to 500 pounds and she makes that look like it's nothing. 
So she's finishing out her 50 foot. We got Shane back on his deadlifts with those burpees. Shane does a fantastic job making sure that he loads the hips when he goes to stand with those dumbbells. And yes, the dumbbells must be on the outsides of your feet when you go into that deadlift. Claire is back onto her box step overs, doing a good job of transitioning on the box and setting herself up for our next rep. If you guys are watching any of our tutorial series, we did our burpee box jump overs and we talked about the transition on the box for that to set us up for the next rep. It's the same thing here. We can either turn on top of the box or when we're on the other side, you're gonna save yourself some time making that transition during the step over. Shane just finished up with his box step overs and that grip fatigue is real. Our forearms are pumping, our fingers are hurting. You guys are almost done. We got three and a half minutes left, so stick with it. Find that pace time that we can maintain throughout the rest of this 10 minute AMRAP. This is one of those that, like I said earlier, there's nothing special to it, but this is just as much a mental challenge as it is a physical one. Because your forearms are telling you, we gotta put the dumbbells down. Hang on, try to complete that movement, try to complete that set, of whatever you're on, set them down, shake them out, and then go through it. You'll notice that Shane has adopted doing his deadlift burpees and straight into his farmer carries, and then he takes a rest when he gets to the box. So figure out the strategic place for you to rest so that you can set those dumbbells down, get yourself set, and then go again. Clara is a trooper working her way through, even hitting that vertical jump without me saying anything. We're back onto our buckets. When we're going on to our farmer carries, it's very important that you think about short, quick steps here. So we wanna make sure that we keep our core engaged. We don't wanna to try to go faster by taking bigger steps because when we're under load, that's when we can get injured. So be smart, be aggressive with how you're taking those so you can move quick with them, but we need short, quick steps. Think about walking like a penguin because that will help keep you stabilized. We are on to the two minute and 10 second mark. So you hate hearing me say it because you know you got enough time to do at least two to three more rounds. So we are gonna get through this. We are gonna keep moving. This is the hardest part because I haven't called the final 60 seconds yet. You get to listen to me talk for another minute before I amp that energy up. I give you that scary, it's that scary last round Mario Kart music that always speeds up and gives you anxiety for no reason. I don't want you to be anxious. I want you to be focused. I want you to be determined. I want you to be driven here. Right now, we are looking at 90 seconds on the clock. Shane is following his set schedule of resting before he gets to the box, takes a nice deep breath, and then gets into it. That breathing is key because that's your internal pace clock. That is the thing that is gonna keep you staying measured and stay keeping you staying controlled throughout. We got Clara onto her vertical jumps with those burpees. She's gonna give us the highest jump that she's got right now. There we go. And then we're back into the burpee vertical jump for Clara. We've got Shane starting his next round. And right now we are three, two into our last minute here. So I need you to push. This is the time that if you're trying to show me that grip strength, you're gonna hang on to those dumbbells. Shane already said before this workout, he's not putting the dumbbells down in the last 60 seconds. So we are going straight through. We got Clara finishing up her farmer's carry. She's going into her box step overs. We've got 40 seconds left. So I need you to try to finish out this round that you were on. If you get done before time, you're going right into the next one. Don't slow down and act like you're not sure what you're supposed to do next. We all know that trick. Don't go grab your water. I need you for 25 more seconds. Chain is right into his box step overs. We've got 20 seconds left. I need you to push the pace here. Start that next round, get into it. We've got 15 seconds. Keep going, we've got 12 seconds left. Everything that you have here, you need to move, move, move. We've got eight seconds. We're almost there in five seconds. Keep going, three, get the last reps in, two, one, and time. And that is all they wrote. North Park is done. Great job, athletes, Shane, great job. Oh, those fingers, I felt that. He's got the pump going on in the grip. Make sure you guys spend some time now, do some wrist circles, get those hands nice and open, put them down on the floor, get your forearms stretched out. You guys did an amazing job. We got the cool down coming up next, so make sure you stick around. Athletes, great job. We've got a special announcement. We want to congratulate all of our 2023 games athletes at the at-home workouts. You have just completed your version of the CrossFit Games. We are so happy that you joined in on this. 
Shane is happy that it's over. Claire is happy that it's over. You know it's coming back again next year. So if you enjoyed what we did, you get a whole nother year to prepare. And if you're not a part of the Mayhem Athlete community, we got a seven day free trial that you can start right now and get your way on to that competitive track. Or if you don't care about competing, but you just wanna be a little bit stronger, a little bit fitter for what life throws your way, Mayhem Athletes got your back. You'll find a group of like-minded athletes that will help you have a great time and encourage you along the way to your goals so that you can smash through whatever goals you have for yourself and beyond that. So join us today. We love having you. Now, you got your cooldown listed here, and I always say you got to take care of your body because it just took care of you. I know it's easy to make an excuse to skip this part of the workout, but it is arguably one of the most important because you drive your car around all the time and you gotta take it into the shop. So let's take your body to the shop and get it tuned up so you can do another workout tomorrow. As always, be good, be kind, and join us again for another great day of fitness.